Why did Shirley say Ethan's having a birthday party? His birthday's in November. Not anymore. What, what do you mean, not anymore? Uh, November was bad for us. I have deadlines. Moish has his spring fabrics arriving. Shirley's cousin Yetta is coming for a visit. I don't know what your mother's doing, but it was bad for her, too. That is Tony Shalhoub as Midge Maisel's irascible father, Abe, on the hit Amazon Prime video series, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which tells the story of a mother and wife finding herself as a stand-up comedian in 1950s and 60s New York. The beloved Mrs. Maisel has won both the Emmy and the Golden Globe for Best Comedy Series, with Rachel Brosnahan dazzling in the lead role. Shalhoub's Emmy-winning performance on the show is the latest in a 30-year run of success that began with the scene-stealing cab driver Antonio Scarpacci on Wings and continued as the title character on the acclaimed series Monk. Tony and I got together for a Sunday sit-down and a great meal at Resdora, the New York City restaurant where he is a part owner. Forgive me, I thought we could use a break from your all the good men are either married or gay speech. You're going down, Mr. P. Please, I'm atoning for the things I'd like to do to that man. The Emmys, the Golden Globe, and the Tony Award are impressive. But Tony Shalhoub's proudest recent accolade is a Michelin star. I think this is something with pasta and egg and cheese. My gosh, it's delicious. The 68-year-old is an investor in Resdora, the popular cozy Italian restaurant, which under chef Stefano Secchi last year earned the coveted and rare Michelin star. So, Tony, what got you into the restaurant business? Uh, other than the fact that I love food, it seemed like a good idea. And we're so grateful we did it because we get to come here and, you know, eat here and bring friends and family and impress people. Manhattan also is the setting for Shalhoub's other current passion project. I'll admit that sometimes I tune people up, but mostly because they rarely have anything useful or interesting to say. Amazon's hit series, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, returned this week for a fourth season, with Shalhoub playing Abe Weissman, father to Rachel Brosnahan's title character. Where do we find Abe? Abe's gone through, I don't know if you want to call it a midlife crisis or what, but we find out at the end of three that he's going to be hired as a theater critic at the Village Voice. Now Abe gets to reinvent himself and he gets a vehicle or, or an outlet to unleash his, his frustration <laughs> and a little bit of his rage. What do you think it is about this show, Tony, that has so resonated with people? The writing is, I think, is unique and and we have Rachel Brosnahan at the helm. I learn from Rachel. I really find myself locking in and observing when she's in a scene. She has a presence and a confidence. I want to just, I want that to rub off on me. Papa, do not have one of your knee-jerk reactions to this. This is not a knee-jerk reaction. I heard your offer and I instantly knew it was stupid. Said, is it all right if I keep eating? Please do. The food's great here. <laughs> Anthony Mark Shalhoub was born and raised in Wisconsin. His father immigrated to the United States from Lebanon at eight years old. Tony's mother was a second generation Lebanese American. What was it like for you to grow up in, in Green Bay, Wisconsin, the ninth of 10 kids with your dad driving that refrigerated truck? Wow, you really have done your homework. <laughs> it's uh, my job. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I, I mean, my childhood was, uh, you know, a lot of siblings, a lot of chaos. But my parents were, were great. But I have this memory of my mother coming home from a play and telling this story about one of the actors who was wearing a mustache, a fake mustache. And in the middle of an animated scene, it came off. He, you know, slapped, tried to slap it back on, but whatever it was, and improvise, you know, to the other uh, character. And furthermore, you're going to buy me a new mustache or something like that. And the audience loved it. And my mother was telling the story to us, the sort of joy mm. that she had. I think maybe there was this thing that just, this coin that just dropped in my head. It's like, maybe could that have been the thing that, that, you know, that sort of set me on that road? Shalhoub's road eventually took him to the Yale School of Drama where he earned a master's degree in acting before setting out to build a career. 
One of my very first auditions in New York was for Neil Simon, but Neil's back had gone out. So he was in a, he was in this hotel and he was flat out. I was like <laughs> propped up on the bed. He was, in, he was in agony, really. So I stood at the foot of the bed. It wasn't that big a room. <laughs> and I re read the scene. He said, thank you. I walked out of the hotel room. It was surreal. And then I got the part. After moving to Los Angeles in the early 1990s, Shaloub landed a breakout role on the hit show, Wings. Just think of it as my own personal witness protection program. <laughs> then parts in movies ranging from Big Night. So where is the problem? To Men in Black. Come on, Edward, what you see is what I got. Very and cars. Car. You are a famous race car, a real race car. But it was the role of Adrian Monk, an eccentric former detective that made Shaloub a household name and earned him eight consecutive Emmy nominations don't, 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 with three wins. What are you doing? It's not even. This one, those are people. Maybe they weren't the same size. Well, they are now. It refreshed me and sort of reinvigorated me in terms of my acting. It allowed me and forced me actually to change what I was doing and how I approached my work. In 2017, Shaloub returned to Broadway in The Band's Visit, earning a Tony Award for Best Actor in a Musical. It was a, a, a big deal, especially because it was for a musical, which was not <laughs> in the plan at all. Somehow I got talked into it. Do you have moments where you stop and think about what your parents must think watching somewhere if they are all the success you've had along the way? When I graduated from Yale Drama School, I just remember my father sort of getting teary and uh, saying my parents couldn't read or write mm. and my son is graduating from Yale. I thought, wow, that's... The part about me graduating as an actor, well, we'd just sweep that <laughs> under the rug. <laughs> You've made him proud, undoubtedly. So I'm going to keep eating if you don't Me mind. Me too. It's the best breakfast I've had. Our big thanks to Resdora and Chef Stefano for a truly delicious meal. The new season four of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is streaming now on Amazon Prime Video. And an upcoming fifth and final season was announced just this week. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full-length interview with Tony Shalhoub. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.